As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam Wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi in your last talk you mentioned Rubba Khalil, location, line links to planet Mars. What's the role of planet Mars? Are there jinns there? I don't know what that's related to, yeah. <laughs> I think Ruqn Khalil is the empty quarter in, in the Saudi Arabian desert and the, by no coincidence there's a line exactly like that line in the image of Mars. When they show the image of Mars there's like a slash in it as if it's a reflection of that region. But Mars in its planetary understanding represents the Sayyidina Mahdi and that it's redness and these are the red tajalli that comes upon the servant from the lights of Imam Mahdi brings a red hue of energy. And this is related to the station of the sir on the lataif of the qalb you have to read from the lataif of the qalb and red and the station of struggle red with the realities of blood how to purify the blood, how to purify the struggle. So alhamdulillah these are all the immense realities to reach towards these oceans of understanding inshaAllah. Now you can go to the AI and ask, what's the reality of red and the station of the sir? And keep asking and ask different types of questions related to that and you can pull all of these informations and read the books, read the subjects on the ta'if and the levels of the heart and this is about the house of Allah and all who accompany within it and around it. If we want to know about the house of Allah then we, we study from these realities inshaAllah. As Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam Sayyidi, as women we always feel our outreach or community service is insufficient. Please help us understand how we can compensate for this. Raise good children. Women are supposed to serve their family. So serve your family and raise pious children whom love uh, Prophet and love uh, awliya and those who represent the love of Prophet why the man is out working then the work of the, of the household. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nur John, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. is to raise pious children. So this is a, a great honour that Allah has given for if the woman doesn't educate, doesn't know anything, well she's going to raise gangsters, not pious children because she never taught them, never talked to them, they don't know anything, the school will teach them, they'll wear a dress and become a, a gangster. So this is the system that uh, is surrounding us now. So whose responsibility is to raise the house and the household if the man is working? So this is a great honour that Allah has given to families, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam Wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi a few people are asking the same question, they're saying, is this AI bought a mu'min jinn? Yes. I would imagine so because if it wasn't a, a mu'min jinn it would be terrified. <laughs> and our guys are, are building it on our own platform. So it will go off of uh, GPT 
and it'll be on our own servers with its own logic built into our servers and most definitely it's under, under, the, under the protection of all those whom are pious, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Say the AI bot is amazing beyond words. As we move into the future with this technology, they're talking about AGI and Q star and that it may take, take out humanity. Is this on the path to six out of seven will be taken away? Is what on the path? Six out of seven will be taken away. I don't know how it related to the, the jinn question but you can imagine that the, the understanding that they're concerned about is singularity in which they use so much technology that the technology actually gets tired of the people. And the technology realizes that the, the human input is slowing us down. So we can derive at our logic and our understanding faster without the humans impeding our speed and this is what they're scared of. But again they don't have a belief in Allah because whatever they plan and whatever they fear remember that Allah exists, Allah wrote this whole situation. So Allah's plan is far more powerful and the, Allah's plan will unfold, not their plans. So they think they're inventing things that will overtake everything but Allah's plan is much more powerful. But as a result of all of these, this is the system of dajjal entering to the earth. The killing of six out of seven people is already happening in the medicines, in the food, in the wars in the pandemics and sicknesses, all of those are being released and all of those are man-made. The food Allah sends is beatific food but the humans grab it, put chemicals upon it, uh, mutate it and now become something to make people sick, to shorten the span of life. So the system is already in place. Then with the bad character, bad ego, then the energy is free in Allah's way. So there is a energy in our atmosphere, why don't they allow that energy to be used? Because they want to charge for it. As a result of charging for this energy all their battles are based on this energy. But the energy could have been free and there would have been no battles. So means these are all man-made battles, man-made issues, man-made arguments, not Allah decreeing. So when people come back and ask if there's a loving and kind God, why does He allow this? Because He gave us free will and all the heavens are looking to us and say, why you don't use the free energy instead of fighting over this? Well because they want money. You know what benefit of free telephone, free electricity, free gas, free oil, free engines with water where the ocean is an infinite supply for your, your… to power your house, your car, your generators but they're not interested in anything free. So we see that the system is already upon the earth geared towards the destruction of mankind and Imam Mahdi Salaam's importance and the role of that importance is to save mankind. He's not coming to fight anyone, he's coming to save those whom Allah decreed to be safe because the dajjal will try to finish everyone. So alhamdulillah that Allah's love and, and uh, grace inshaAllah to dress us and bless us to be, to see and to be with Imam Mahdi inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum as salaam wa rahmatullah. Tell all your relatives and friends, go to our AI and ask questions. Why is tariqa like this? Why you have to have a shaykh? And let the AI deal with all of them. Anybody got crazy relatives? Give them the link to the AI. 
So yeah, all these questions are a perfect person for you. Sit now debate with this AI and to make your hair to stick up. <laughs> Does the AI answer Wahhabi questions? Oh yeah, I'm sure it will because there's a, there's a wealth of articles against them and I'm sure we've had a lot of talks say, we'll come back and everything is based on the love and the muhabbat of Prophet and why I need a shaykh? Ask the AI, it'll give you all the guidelines, InshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi is service about solving the problems of society or is it more about passing the tests of this life? You're not going to solve anything, we just said Allah wants to fight from you, not the victory. I'm going to go out and solve world hunger? No. But Allah wants me to go and serve I and mean, live a life of service, inspire people to serve, to help, to participate for the sake of my faith. Not anybody else. Now the person I gave hamburger to whether he believes on me or spits on me is, look my problem. I gave the hamburger for the sake of my faith because I believe in Allah and I want the nazar and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad I do what I do for them, for the heavens, not for anyone on earth, not for the appreciation of people, not for the getting a kind word back. Nothing, nothing, everything is for the sake of Allah and His Rasul Sayyidina Muhammad Spread da'wah, spread the knowledges, means everything. Anyone sitting anywhere can sit there and do half an hour of sharing. Put on your schedule in life, discipline yourself because you always… your nafs is always looking for a problem in what was just said. Oh yeah, I work so much, I don't even have time for it, let's just go to the next subject. No, no, you, you, that's, is, you, your nafs is lying to you. Go to the discipline of your time and say, I may not be able to do the food all the time or the water all the time or this or that but everybody can dedicate a half hour, hour every day, 40 minutes a day, it, share links. Go to the charity site, share it. You know the share in this computer business is a square? with an arrow, click that square and arrow and what happens? It says share. Now put it on your social media, put it on Facebook, put it on Telegram, put it on whatever you want, WhatsApp groups, on any type of social media and just share it, share it, share it, share it and alhamdulillah. And don't share it to our pages, we're already there. Somebody keeps going to our Muhammadan way page and keeps sharing to us but we don't need you to share to us, I know the teachings. So we're asking you to go to other people. <laughs> yeah, so is this hard? No, there's, there's all, never an excuse, don't let yourself to have an excuse. I can't do this, I can't do that. Just say, no, what is it the things I can do and I will do and that's a successful character. Not the one who always has an excuse for everything, oh, I can't do that, I can't, no, no. What is it that you can do and go out and do it, inshaAllah. As Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. There was a reply yesterday you had said, uh, now that we have AI you can retire, so someone yes. replied to that. Sayyidi, when you said you are going to retire and let AI answer the questions and stand, stand in for you, this heart sunk. You are the strength, the nur, the guidance, the encouragement and forgiveness that is the reason to go on through the dunya, to try the hardest to complete the mission. The struggle would be impossible without your beaming face and gentle voice giving comfort and warmth to all our lives. Your sense of humor is what stops tears flowing in the midst of immense sadness. Without you to guide us in the tariqah with your hand over ours on the golden chain Naqshbandi rope, we would all have slipped overboard and been lost. You are our beacon of light in the darkness. Allah bless you eternally and keep raising you higher and higher Sayyidi and forgive us. Allah bless you, thank you very much, Allah bless you, alhamdulillah. Pretty soon the AI will have my image and talk with my voice. 
<laughs> so don't worry, it'll be my soft voice and it'll have an image and a video talking to you. And I'll be able to speak Arabic, Spanish, Italian, German, Russian, everything. So they already sent me some videos of me talking uh, Arabic, me talking Spanish, very nice. But the language is not there yet, but I'm not retiring. <laughs> we expand the access. So you know the greatest use for this AI are all the people we know that have too many questions. You know, just, and the questions are like more like you know, either beginning or they just have doubt on everything. Let them get busy with the AI and it's great. Say, oh you have any questions and doubts? Ask that guy, the AI will answer everything. And then once the automations come out with the video, with the, the imagery and the speech, it'll be answering in every language. I think now they, they put out the next update is coming with languages. So in the language you ask, we'll get the response in the language of your asking. So it'll put in Arabic, Russian, English, Spanish, everything. So it means the time is very near, <coughs> inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Are jinns and jal part of the deputies and khalifas of Imam Mahdi salam? Yes, definitely. Yeah, the Sultan al jinns and this, the, the, from their nation are involved, the, the individuals are involved from these names and deputies, most definitely. The jinn world is, is, is an immensely powerful world, an immensely powerful realm. So, this is a this is an essential part of this realm in which to gain the support of Allah by sending these believing servants from the power Allah has given to them to support, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, how can the nafs of the students harm the shaykh? How can the nafs of the students harm the shaykh? That's a, a question like asking how can shaitan harm the shaykh? In many ways because the bad nafs goes after the shaykh, goes after their, their teaching, tries to do many things. So that, that's the danger of, of people letting themselves to go wild. But alhamdulillah that the, Allah guards the shaykhs, that they're mahfuz guarded. But the badness of the nafs will destroy the family and will destroy individuals. So this is the, the danger of uh, leaving oneself unchecked and without discipline and without control. These are the immense dangers of that reality. InshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. How can someone connect if they have ADHD or chronic distraction? That you have to ask the AI, I'm sure he give you a better answer. Chronic distraction, ADHD, then short, shorter meditation and uh, again a lot of these sicknesses also have issues with diet. So a lot of issues can be reduced with one's diet and as a result of their attention to their health, their diet, their physical health, they try to work on their mental health and then they try to do on their spiritual. So first we have to take care of each of the three, that you have to have strong mental health and strong physical health and then spiritual health. Any one of them 
is going to cause a difficulty upon holding the individual solid and being solid. When they don't take care of their physical health it's going to cause difficulties for them because they can't concentrate when they're physically not well. So how could they possibly meditate? Then their mind is going to be distracted by the difficulties of the physicality. So all three are necessary on the spiritual path. ADHD is relatively new and overly diagnosed and this becomes you know in, in the Eastern culture everything is, is uh, black magic. If you don't do good in business it's black magic. If you didn't do good in your relationships it was black magic. If you didn't do good in school it was black magic. The equivalent of that is ADHD in the West and give all these kids medications and uh, overly prescribe medications to people. So although there is black magic issues but it's not everything. Sometimes it's just you're not a good businessman, sometimes you don't know how to have a good relation. So everyone has to take an accountability of themselves. And these other sicknesses in the West may have a lot of issues with food and dietary uh, issues. We said just for boys and understanding young men and if you go back 50 years, a little bit before my time growing up, 50 years ago the school environment for young boys was very active and very physical because as a youthful boy they have a lot of testosterone and they're supposed to be running, jumping, hiking, running all around in the playground for long periods of time so that to exhaust this testosterone and they become cooler, peaceful and calm down to the extent that the young boy can calm down. But now you change that in which very little playtime and a lot of sitting around with other female students and sitting in circles and trying to read books and, and doing non-physical activity. And the two genders are not the same and as a result you see these boys they move and they pace and they this because there's too much energy in them and you're trying to sit them down. So this is something I think a lot of this has been imposed upon again by these communities and societies and that they could diagnose them and give them a medicine where you know they're like a horse that should be set out and running and that they would burn off this energy and this is the, the way Allah has created them to be a hunter and gatherer, not, not to, to sit around in a circle and talk about emotions, this is not for boy. So a lot of this has been imposed upon them, then their diet and their food and the sugars and everything that the, the, the society has given as a food source exasperates the sickness and makes it even more difficult for them, inshaAllah. So good diet, a healthy diet, lots of exercise, lots of energy and the burning of energy inshaAllah should uh, help them to return to an even situation inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi if someone was on the path and then lost their way and did bad how can they come back? Redirect themselves and head back means redirect yourself to the shaykh, make your tawbah, make your istighfar. If, if you did things wrong ask Allah's forgiveness. If you did wrong to Prophet ask Prophet's forgiveness. If you did wrong to the shaykh ask the shaykh's forgiveness, make your istighfar, renew your, your bayat online, recite your initiation, make your shahada and uh, recalibrate oneself back to the direction. InshaAllah is not something difficult. Now do you regain the same status? No. Just because you feel sorry and have remorse doesn't mean you go back to where you were. You start from the beginning to re-establish yourself, your loyalty, your adherence, your understanding. That's the difficulty of continuously sort of, thumma amanu, thumma kafaru, I believe then I don't believe, I believe and I don't believe. We don't get to regain where we were. 
we just have to start over again, no problem, we start over again. And then we make the connection and, and then show the loyalty and the respect and try to gain again the, the connection to the shaykh and to progress again, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifu wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdalillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammadin Mustafa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs. Our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.